welcome you once again uh, to it's a celebration of our first anniversary of the Mayor's Women's Empowerment Initiative. I would like to uh, introduce our keynote speaker today who is who needs no introduction. He is uh, Mr. Kansas City in many ways. <laughs> And I could go formally through his bio, but I'm not going to do that. I think what I would like to do, though, is just focus on the fact that the mayor has been uh, an amazing um, cheerleader for our city. He has been out in numerous, numerous pieces of e in terms of economic development, civic engagement, you name it, education. He has been out there on the forefront, not just on behalf of the citizens of Kansas City, but on behalf of our region. And so I think we owe him a, you know, just a debt uh, a gratitude because of the work that he just he just naturally loves to do because he really loves our city and so with that I'd like to introduce the Honorable Mayor Sly James thank you and um, first let me let me say thank you all and I appreciate Cece's very generous introduction but let me just tell you that um, I found that my job is basically um, managing to uh, get people to work together and move forward and when we do that a whole lot of good things happen and that's exactly what we've done and that's really all we've done got a great staff we get people marshaled in the right directions that they want to go and then we help push and that's a good thing so good morning to everybody and thanks for being here today really do appreciate it and I just want to say wow what a difference a year makes uh, today and I am happy extremely happy to report that every single one, every single one of the strategies of the WE Blueprint has either been completed or is in progress. That includes the exploration and implementation of more family-friendly policies at City Hall, such as the designation of a breastfeeding room on site at City Hall with a confidential electronic calendar uh, system to add privacy for our nursing mothers, distributing an RFI to numerous child care organizations to help us examine our options for offering child care to our employees, working to ensure that transitional work policies are inclusive of pregnancy. For example, if you're a firefighter and you break your leg, they don't expect you to climb up a ladder. But if you're a woman firefighter and you're pregnant, you shouldn't be expected to climb up a ladder either, and you should still be able to keep your job. Uh, but the fact that we've gotten a lot of things done and the fact that we have established a very good infrastructure for working together doesn't mean that the task is over. We have a lot more left to do. We're, one of the things that we're doing is we're currently researching whether and how paid maternity and paternity leave might work at the city. And we still need more women on our boards and commissions. So rest assured, we have lots of work left to do. And I hope you'll join me for WE 2.0 event in, and in September, we're going to have a hackathon to find ways to solve some of the issues that I've just mentioned. So again, thanks for joining me here today. Thank you for all your hard work to ensure that women of Kansas City are given every opportunity to succeed. We need to keep it up. We need to continue to work together. <laughs> 